Well, brethren, the Lord's been good to us so far this weekend, hasn't he? It's been good. As Brother Aaron said, Brother Ricky's text is going to be found in 2 Peter 1, verse 11. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now we know, because Jesus told us, that he came to give life and to give it abundantly. This is the manner of God, is abundance. And we know this because back in Exodus, in the early days of creation and of Moses, the Lord said something to Moses. This is what he said. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. So this is the manner of the Lord. And then later on, we just sang about the spies that went into the country. They brought back some grapes. And I remember Brother Given preaching on this some years ago. And he said they weren't just little grapes. They were grapes. They had to be carried by men on, on rods back into the people. They were abundant. They were great. And they were from the promised land. This abundant entrance is what we are laboring for here. The reason we have died to ourselves and have taken up our cross daily is in order to have an abundant entrance into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right now we are laboring to give all diligence, and we are adding to our faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. We're doing this for an abundant entrance. We are working now. We are laboring now. We're making our calling and election sure. We are building upon the foundation that God has laid in order that we might obtain this abundant entrance. It's been spoken already this weekend that we are sojourners in this land. This is not our home, but there is an abundant entrance that is waiting for us. We must fight to keep the proper perspective and remember who we are. We are children of the king. We've been made kings and priests unto God. And the Lord is teaching us now how to rule and how to reign because there's coming a time when we will have an abundant entrance into the everlasting kingdom. And we must be prepared for that. I thought it was interesting that Peter wrote that it shall be ministered unto you. The Lord is the one who is giving this abundant entrance into his everlasting kingdom. He's the one that is ministering this unto us because it is his kingdom that he's finding good pleasure in giving to his children. And this entrance is an abundant entrance. And I was considering, what does it mean? What is it going to mean for us when we have this abundant entrance? It's going to mean freedom. Now, we have freedom now. We're free from sin and those sorts of things that, that the Lord has given us the first fruits of. But then, as Brother Bob spoke so well about this morning, we're going to be free from the flesh. We're going to be free from the competing interest and the trials that, that we have to endure now. We're going to be free from the cares of this world and the shortcomings that we find in ourselves. This is going to be a part of this abundant entrance into the everlasting kingdom. There's going to be a final change in us made. John wrote, Beloved, now we are the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. This is going to happen on that time when we have this abundant entrance into the everlasting kingdom. The harvest is going to be complete at the time of this abundant entrance. So all of those hours that you've labored in prayer, all of those hours that you have labored to minister to God's people, and all of those things that you invested for the kingdom of God, you're going to be able to partake of the fruit that, come, that comes as a result of laboring at this abundant entrance of the everlasting kingdom. Amen. And we can see, too, in Scripture... How, the, how heaven reacts. This is this, there's going to be a reaction 
from heaven, from the heavenly hosts that were looking. They were, they're looking now as God works out the salvation, his salvation in the midst of the earth. They're looking. There's going to be a reaction from heaven when, when we enter. And we know this because of the reaction they had with Christ. Now, we know Christ did everything that the Father gave him to do. He was faithful in everything. He completed the work that God sent him to do. And this was the reaction from heaven. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. So if we are Christ, then we too will have an abundant entrance. We will follow behind our Lord in this abundant entrance into the everlasting kingdom. So brethren, press on here. Be, be content to press toward the mark. Be faithful. Hold fast and stand strong in the Lord and fight like men. Don't, don't fight as beating the air. Fight like men. Pray without ceasing and look for your redemption draweth nigh. Amen.